How's it going team? Sensei Lahai here and today I'm going to give you part three to our home training. Now yesterday I did focus on blue belt self-defense. Blue self-defense is all about front attacks and yesterday I also focused on defensive warrior. Let's do defensive warrior plus the spear and let's put them together and let's make the perfect move. Let's go over defensive warrior team. Defensive warrior, we have our double chops to start. Someone's trying to push you. They're trying to punch you. Step back. Let me see the chops. Triple palm. One, two, three. Kick. Kick. Card. Try it again. Step back. Double chops. Triple palm. One, two, three. Kick. Kick. Card. We also have the spear. Now the spear, this is specifically for someone trying to reach forward, to push, to grab on the shirt. Let me see your wedge block, right for the eyes, claw, elbow, hammer, guard. Step forward, spear, claw. Okay, you grab that arm as you go forward for the elbow and the hammer. Let's go, let's go. Arms up. Go. Go. There you have it, team. Let's put these two together. Let's start off with the straight punch. So someone throws a straight punch at you. Let's use the double chops from Defensive Warrior. And let's defend. So let's step off to the side. Double chops. We have a triple palm. One, two, three. But guess what? We're really close, team. Let's end it with the elbow and hammer we got from the spear. So let's go. Step to the side. Double chops. Triple palm. One, two, three. Elbow, hammer, and guard. Let's do it again, team. Arms up. Step to the side. Don't chop. Triple palm. One, two, three. Elbow, hammer, and guard. Remember, team, that punch. If someone's able to punch you and you have to dodge, that means they're super close. No room for kicks. Stay in close and finish with the striking. Ready? Arms up. Go. <laughs> One more time, ready? Go. Looking good, team. We also have the spear. Now, the cool thing with the spear and defensive warrior, they open. They open. That opening team, we open with the double shots. That keeps us from defending against punches, but also the push. But that wedge block wouldn't be so good for punches, but it's great if someone's just trying to reach forward. And you have the space team, remember, space, to go in for the wedge block team. So let's go. Someone's reaching forward team, and we got the space. Oh, yeah. Wedge block. Double cross. Let's still use that triple palm to stay in close. One, two, three. Whoa, but well, we made some space. Let's end it with our kicks. One, and two. Nice, nice. Let's do it again. Ready? Arms up. Step forward. Spear. Claw. Triple palm. One, two, three. Kick. Kick. And guard. Nice, nice. Let's do it again. Arms up. Step forward. Triple palm. Kick. Kick. Guard. Can you do a fast team? Ready? Arms up. Go. One more time. Ready? Go. Nice job, team. Now, why do I use defensive warrior double chops over the wedge blocks? Situational team, what if someone throws the punch? 
You got to stay in close because they are close. Finish with the strikes team. Let's go over that combo one more time. We have the double chops. Stepping off to the side. Triple palm. One, two, three. Backhand. Elbow. Hammer. And guard. Let's go. Ready? Go. Yeah. We have the opening of the wedge block, the spear. The double claws. What it means great for a punch, but guess what? Perfect for a push or a front grab. So step forward, claw, triple palm, one, two, three, finish with the kicks, kicks, and guard. Do it again, team. Ready? Go. Yeah. One more time. Ready? Go. Yeah. Good, good, good. Team, the goal is, do you understand your tools? Remember in class, Sensei Marks always tells us that guess what? If you know your tool team, pick the right tool for the job. Will a dart work on my head? Or would a palm work for the head? Would a middle knuckle work on the leg? Or would a kick would? Know your strikes, team. Know when to use them. Know how to put these moves together. And guess what? Bring you one step closer to mastering all the basics. Have a great day, team. See you guys for more classes. Asa!